So in this video, we're going to talk about density and specific gravity. Density, in physics, you'll see the symbol rho, is mass divided by volume. The density of water is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. In physics, this is the value that you want to use. In chemistry, you'll see this value. The density of water is 1 gram per cubic centimeter. The density of aluminum, for example, is 2,700 kilograms per cubic meter, which is about 2.7 grams per cubic centimeter. The density of air is much less. It's 1.29 kilograms per cubic meter. Now, what is the specific gravity of aluminum based on these values? The specific gravity is the density of the substance divided by the density of water. It's the ratio between the density of a substance relative to water. So the specific gravity of aluminum is going to be the density of aluminum, which is 2700, divided by the density of water, which is 1000. So it's going to be 2.7 for aluminum. In the case of air, it's a very small number. It's the density of air, which is 1.29, divided by the density of water, which is 1,000. So it's 0 0.00129. The specific gravity is unitless. It doesn't have a unit. When you divide these two, the unit's kilograms per cubic meter will cancel. Now let's work on some practice problems. What is the mass of air that fills a rectangular room that measures 7 meters by 12 meters by 4 meters? And we're given the density of air. So let's draw a rectangular room. The volume of this rectangular room is the length times the width times the height. And we know that density is mass divided by volume. So if we wish to calculate the mass of air, we can use this formula. Mass equals density times volume. So let's calculate the volume first. So the volume is going to be the length times the width times the height. So the order in which we multiply these three numbers really doesn't matter the result will be the same. So we're just going to multiply 7 by 12 by 4. And you should get 336 cubic meters. So that's the volume. So now we can calculate the mass of air. So the mass is going to be the density, which is 1.29 kilograms per cubic meter multiplied by the volume, which is 336 cubic meters. And as you can see, the unit cubic meters will cancel, giving us the units of mass, which is in kilograms. So it's 1.29 times 336. So the mass of air in this very large room is 433.4 kilograms. So that's how you can calculate the mass of air in a rectangular room. It's simply mass, I mean density times volume. Now let's move on to our second question. What is the weight of a large spherical balloon filled with air that has a radius of 10 meters? And we're given the mass of the balloon skin. So feel free to try this problem if you want to. So let's say this is the balloon. And it's spherical. And so this represents the radius r. The volume of the balloon is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So let's calculate the volume first. So it's going to be 4 over 3 times pi times 10 to the third power. So the volume is 4,000. 
cubic meters. So now that we have the volume, we can calculate the weight. So the weight of this object, we know weight is mg. But we need to deal with the mass of the balloon and the mass of air. So the weight is going to be the total mass times the gravitational acceleration. And so that consists of the mass of air plus the mass of the balloon skin, which is a fixed value, which we already know. So let's calculate the mass of air. The mass of air inside the balloon is going to be the density of air times the volume of the balloon. And we have the density of air is 1.29 kilograms per cubic meter. And the volume is 4,188.8 cubic meters. So if we multiply those two numbers, the mass of air is going to be 5,403.6 kilograms. So now we can get the final answer to this problem. So the weight of the entire balloon, that is the, with the air and the balloon skin included, is going to be the mass of air, which is 5,403.6 kilograms, plus the mass of the balloon, which seems very small in comparison, and then times g, which is 9.8. So it's 5,403.6 plus 0.35 times 9.8. So the weight force, which is 52,959 newtons, if you round it to nearest whole number. And so now you know how to calculate the weight force of the balloon, which is based on the mass of air and the mass of the balloon skin. Number three, 30 liters of water is mixed with 50 liters of ethyl alcohol. What is the density of the mixture? In order to find the density of the mixture, or the density of the solution, we need to take the total mass of the solution and divide it by the total volume. So the total mass of the solution is going to include the mass of water, which I'm going to write as MW, plus the mass of the alcohol, which we'll represent as MA, divided by the total volume, that is the volume of the water plus the volume of ethyl alcohol. But I'm just going to leave it as VT. So what is the mass of the water? We have the volume of water and we have the density of water. So we could use that to calculate the mass. The mass is going to be density times volume. And the same is true for the alcohol. It's the density of the alcohol times the volume of the alcohol. And then we'll divide the whole thing by the total volume. Now you could separate it like this too. You could divide each term by the total volume separately if you want. Now the good thing about the way this equation is designed is that we don't need to change the volume in liters to cubic meters. As you can see, if VW and VT is in liters, the units will cancel. So now we can plug in everything that we have. The density of water is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. The volume of water is 30 liters. The total volume is going to be 30 plus 50, which is 80 liters. So the unit liters will cancel, which means that the density is going to be in kilograms per cubic meter. And then the density of alcohol is 789, multiplied by the volume of alcohol, which is 50 liters, divided by the total volume, which is 80 liters. So basically, the density of the solution is a weighted average of the density of water and of ethyl alcohol. So the density of water is 1,000. The density of ethyl alcohol is 789. 
So the density of the solution, it's going to be somewhere between 789 and 1,000. Now, do you think it's going to be closer to 1,000 or closer to 789? Now, because we have more of the ethyl alcohol liquid, the density should be closer to 789 than it is to 1,000. But let's actually calculate it. So we have 1,000 times 30 divided by 80. So that's 375 plus 789 times 50 divided by 80, which is 493.125. So the density of the mixture is 868.125 kilograms per cubic meter. As you can see, this number is closer to the density of alcohol than it is to water, since we have more of the alcohol uh, liquid.